Well, it's a busy time right now for University of Arizona President Dr. Robert Robbins, who was on Capitol Hill on Thursday discussing the future of college football and NIL deals. Nick Saban was there, Charlie Baker, the president of the NCAA, trying to come up with some sort of uniform legislation that governs all 50 states. Nothing, no decisions were made on Thursday, but definitely some very productive conversations. And Dr. Robbins joined us here on Arizona's Family and the Extra Point podcast to discuss the developments. Can you set the scene for us today in the nation's capital? What was the vision and what was accomplished? Well, I think uh, we were looking to try to define the future of college uh, athletics and focused on uh, the issues around solutions to the multitude of problems we have. We had uh, discussions about name, image, and likeness, about conference realignment, um, about the transfer portal. Um, and, you know, I think it was uh, a really great group of people that spanned the uh, the spectrum from politicians to uh, the new president of the NCAA to commissioners, athletic directors, coaches, uh, presidents and chancellors, the media, um, representatives elect from elected officials. So I, I think it was fantastic. Where does it go from here? Well, I think the consensus was that we've talked a lot and it's time for solutions and my hope is that, and I think there's a lot of enthusiasm because um, the ACC commissioner and the SEC commissioner were um, uh, in the halls of Congress uh, at the Capitol um, talking to legislators. And, and I think we've all agreed there's got to be some national solution to uh, some of the issues, particularly around NIO. I think that's probably what we'll see uh, movement on in the first uh, in the first iteration of this. There, there won't be, be a um, panacea or a holistic approach that Congress is is likely to take all in one bill. But I think there is hope that there would be some sort of legislation that puts some uh, standardization and a national uh, framework around name, image, and likeness. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, this was your idea and kind of your brainchild to bring all of this together, correct? Yes. So when, once you got everybody together on the same page, how similar were the frustrations when it comes to, uh, I guess, not having a lot of guardrails here? Yeah, I, I think that was why it was so easy to plan this. And, and my sense is there's a lot of bipartisan interest in Congress about it as well, because they're, they're obviously hearing from their constituents and um, you know, most of the country are big college sports fans and they want to see something done to help uh, advance the um, the health of college athletics. So I, I think it's uh, the right time. It's uh, um, certainly uh, a chaotic time when you look at the transfer portal and NIL and uh, all the issues that we're grappling with, uh, uh, the big media contracts and conference realignment. So my hope is that um, during the summer, there will be something that comes out of committee, um, the uh, House, uh, House and Senate Commerce and Energy Committees, and that uh, it'll, it'll be socialized, you know, as, as members go home and hopefully voted on in the fall. And how much did the, how much did the players have a voice today, do you feel like? Yeah, we had uh, we had a couple of uh, incredible students that participated. We had four panels, so uh, two students who were able to make it out, and uh, they were obviously very articulate. And um, you know, I, the the idea of having their voice heard on Capitol Hill. Um, there's a college um, uh, student association that gives them the opportunity to go to directly to Capitol Hill, but clear consensus there needs to be more of the student voice heard on Capitol Hill. And moreover, uh, uh, I think we all do a, a good job of listening to our uh, students, but uh, we can do even more, especially around uh, NIL deal for uh, women athletes. Uh, when it comes to just today's developments, how much – You've got that. You've got the the Pac-12. What the future of that looks like? How much does today's developments, I guess, 
get the ball rolling on all of this as, as you work through, I would imagine, you know, your phone was buzzing all day. Yeah, you know, the good, the hallmark of the good meeting is I did not look at my phone until four o'clock. <laughs> Just did not. Now that means I got to go catch up. Uh, on a bunch of emails, but I, I just put it down because I was I was hanging on to every word. I mean, there were some great, great panelists, and the people who attended in the office. We also had uh, uh, several of the collectives that were there that participated in panels and the discussion. And as, with all these meetings, you know, a lot of the great discussion were at the breaks. So I'm I'm pretty excited about. Uh, uh, how it all came off and very appreciative of all the people who came and um, uh, came and participated. Well, uh, it, it was a great, uh, great brainchild that you came up with getting everybody on the same page today. And I, I know it's been a busy day before you, before we, we do finish the conversation, cause I know you want to catch a flight here, but we have been talking about this. We've been talking about the future of the conference. What's, what's trying to forecast everything here. So, uh, as we look at the, the 10 schools still left in the PAC 12, looks like they've, they've, they've all banded together and, and, and there's, they've committed to each other. What's the next step there for the PAC 12? Well, I think it's uh, to obviously get our um, media deal codified. Um, that's what we've all been waiting on, patiently waiting, and I think uh, we're going to hear something very soon. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Um, I know it's a busy day, and uh, we, we appreciate hearing from you here in Arizona's family. Okay, thank you for having me on your, your uh, show. The Extra Point Podcast is a production of 3TV, CBS5, and azfamily.com in Phoenix, Arizona.